thank you all so much for stopping by today. So today it is my goal to get one of the patio planters planted. Now you saw me remove the strawberry and the only reason why I am removing the strawberries from the containers, the patio containers, as well as the raised beds is because we're doing a strawberry patch. And so I'm gonna pull up all of those strawberries and we're gonna put them in our strawberry patch, which will be in ground. So I'll be doing that over the next few days. Now I'm only gonna plant up one today because I'm still thinking about the other one. I don't want all tomatoes on the patio. I think I'm going to put a, it is a, patio type cucumber in the other one, but I'm still thinking about it. So we're just gonna do one today. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So we got everything cleared out and the type of tomato that I'm going to plant is called a red robin. And these are dwarf tomatoes. They're cherry tomatoes, but they don't get very big or very tall. Now, I have been seeing different widths online on this variety. So I'm trying to debate, do I want to do one or do I want to do two? These are determinate tomatoes, which means that they're just gonna put on a big flush of cherry tomatoes, and then once it's done, then that's it. Um, and so hopefully by then, I'll have some more dwarf type or patio type varieties of uh, vegetables that can go here, but that is what we are going to do today. Y'all know I am a lover of companion planting, so we're gonna do some culinary basil blend in here and then we're also going to use some of the marigolds that we started from seed and that we have left over i still have to start more marigold from seed but um this will get us started i have really got to do something with this patio because i feel like i have plants everywhere and again y'all if i can just stay out of the stores buying the plants i really feel like i can get everything planted so again We'll see how that works, but let's go ahead. Let's get this planted. Um, I'm going to put my eggshells in here. We've been having a lot of controversy online, but this is what I want to share with y'all. Everybody does things different. And to me, gardening is about testing and it's about researching. Um, I've had a lot of elderly people tell me different methods. And those are things that I have tested and that is what I do. But I digress okay <laughs> so I'm gonna put my eggshells in here because I have found that that does help me with blossom and rot when it comes to tomatoes and it does put some calcium and magnesium into the soil because again we really want to focus on feeding our soil I will say that again and again so we're gonna put that in there and I'm just gonna put a little bit of slow release garden tone in here and we are going to let these containers go ahead and get started. So make sure you tap the subscribe button so that you can see the progress along the gardening season.
All right, so we have everything planted and I put the straw on first, but I'm going to water it afterwards. I just didn't want a whole bunch of water like dropping on my feet because I still have like my slides on. So I'll water that in just a second, but I wanted to share and show with you really quickly what we planted. And all of these I started from seed and as you can see, they really needed to get out of those cell trays. I should be ashamed of myself because I know I know this, but when you know better, you do better. I'll do better, better the next time. But again, these are the Red Robin Dwarf Tomatoes. And then we put two Strawberry Blonde Marigolds in the middle. And then we have the basil, which is gonna be the taller plant in the back. The reason why I put the marigold in the middle is because I'm not sure if these get between 10 to 12 inches in height, but I do know that the tomatoes are between, it said between eight to 12 inches in height as well. So we'll just let them all grow in together. But the good thing is all of these are great companion plants. The marigold is going to offer a scent that the pest doesn't like as well as the basil. And it's been said that basil also helps with the taste of the tomato. So I'm going to get all of this watered in and then remember to make sure that you subscribe so you can watch these grow over the gardening season. So as always, thank you all so much for watching this video. Make sure you share this video with your family and your friends. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead, tap the subscribe button. Make sure you tap the bell so that you can receive notification each and every time we upload a new video. Again, thank you all so, so much for watching. And until the next video, bye-bye.